What's up everybody, my name is King Derford, aka KD, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Fallout 4. I'm assuming we were going to take on the vault Regional HQ from the last, in this episode, so that's what I'm gonna do. I don't really know, it, the quest that I've currently got put up, I'm just gonna talk over this cutscene, is to follow the Freedom Trail. So, I don't know where the Freedom Trail is, so I can't really do anything about that one. What else in here? Appears to be nothing. If you're hyped for today's episode, please be sure to leave a like down below, and let's get on started. Uh, actually, I had a little topic I wanted to talk about, because this is the first video I've recorded since having surgery. And... What is that? Nope, 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 nope. It's all ghouls. It's all ghoul from here. Just punch it. I did not know that these things were here. Okay, this is actually... I've never been here, so this is actually kind of scary. Uh, this is the first video recorded since my surgery, and I guess that I was a little bit nervous about recording again after surgery, because I was a little bit worried about how I would handle it, and how my body would handle it, and how everything would go, and if everything would work the way that it would go beforehand, or that it would have gone beforehand, and I, I don't know why I was so nervous, but... That mixed with not being able to record for a little while, I guess kind of pissed me off sort of thing. No, that's... I'm going to go with this, since we're in an area with a bunch of fucking ghouls. So is there nothing in here? There's nothing in here. There's quite lit. Ooh, a coffee cup. Bottle caps. Nuka cherry. That's something. There is not much in here. Move it, Nick. So, I'm assuming this is where we're going to find the vault Tech representative. Because I know you can find the original vault Tech representative that you had at the beginning of the game. Or that saw you at the beginning of the game. So, to be honest with you, I'm kind of assuming this is where you'll find him. Is at the vault Tech building. But I'm not sure. But I would assume so. And if so, that would be freaking awesome. Because I haven't found him in my main playthrough. So I would love to find him in this playthrough already. That would be sweet. I like finding things in this playthrough first. It's funny. It's kind of entertaining to me. Because I've spent like days on the other fucking save file. But on this one I've spent maybe 20 hours. Or maybe like 6 hours. Like 6 to 20 hours that range. And I found so much new stuff. I need to turn this down. And I found so much new shit. And it's just... This game is massive and expansive. And something that I love more than anyone possibly knows. Because it is a phenomenal, phenomenal game. So I'm going to try and clear this place out before we take on the basement. Because there was an elevator that we could use. So I don't know where that's going to take us. But... I assume we're going to find more feral ghouls places. That economy... That is. Okay, so... Yeah, this is definitely the vault -Tec thing, because there is vault -Tec shit all over the fucking place. I don't want to sit in the chair. I'm wearing power armor. I can't sit if I wanted to. That's not something I have the ability to do. Is there anybody in here? Well, there's Dr. Reed's terminal. Come on, get to the terminal. So we just shipped 15 cases of Psycho and Jet to Vault 95. Of course, that makes total sense. Let's give these addicts more of what put them in the, this situation to begin with. Davidson says it's to force them to make the hard choice. Chems are getting clean. I say it's to cause a bloodbath. Nope, just read that. Walter in the warehouse just told me we received a massive shipment marked Vault 111, do not open. So we opened it, and it was hundreds of gallons of liquid nitrogen. What could they possibly need that for? That's it. I can't work under a manager who's so oblivious to what's going on around him. These vaults are supposed to be a safe haven for these people, not a lab run experiments on them. Davidson still doesn't see it, or he just he's just ignoring it. Either way, I'm putting in my two weeks this morning. Damn. So somebody found out what the vaults actually were. And if you didn't know, there's actually a DLC coming out where you are able to fuck with vault dwellers, or make your own vault, and then fuck with the dwellers 
and do like little science experiments all on them, which is pretty freaking cool. I don't know if I'll be doing that because I just don't know. But if I do, I will definitely do it on series <laughs> because that sounds like fun. Just fucking with people doing experiments on them. That sounds pretty cool. It's something that I didn't expect them to put in the game. It's really not. Whenever they had said, oh yeah, you can build shit and all this, I was like, okay, that's really all they're going to deal with it. They're not going to delve too deep into it. But no, they delve pretty deep into it. You're able to build your own vault now. Or soon. I don't know when it comes out. And I don't think it's out yet. Crystal Liquor Decanter. It is, Nick. Thank you. Thank you for watching my back. There was something over here. A folder. I don't need that shit. I say that and I pick up everything else in the world. I need to get out my sword, though. Just in case. Ooh, rocket! We're on a rocket ship in our baby rocket ship floating to the skies. Little Einsteins. Yeah, I just fucking sung the Little Einsteins theme. What you fuckers think about that? What are these? This is just a bunch of piping. This leads to... Oh, there's a person. Nope. You're gonna die, bitch. Yeah, Nick, I get it. It's not an option that you can break a sweat. Bobby pins. I do have some rads, but I don't really care right now. I will wait to put those up or to get rid of the rads. But the main thing I'm looking for is backstory for this place. Also, sealed economy wonder. Oh, that's a safe that I can't open. Nick. Mr. Davidson's terminal. I bet you I can open it from here. Nope. I believe Dr. Reed is under the impression that the vaults in the Boston area will be used to harm its future residents instead of help them. I told him he's just being paranoid. vault Tech would never do so any sort of thing. Sharon spilled coffee on my new shirt while we were in the lounge this morning. I told her it was fine. We had a good laugh about the whole thing. If she does it again, I'll stab her in the fucking throat with my pen. She's a good kid. Jesus. Dr. Reed is beginning to get on my nerves. All he talks about uh, now are his theories on how the vaults were built to run experiments on people and not actually help them at all. I keep telling him that he couldn't be more wrong. If he keeps it up, I might have to discipline him. Ah, oh, dear Jesus. This is funny. Nick. Nick. Oh, globe. And a folder I don't need. Nick. Nick. Oh, there's a cue ball on there, I think. Nick. Nick. Nick, where the hell are you? Nick. Nick, you you know you just said that it's good to have somebody watching your back and then you disappear. That doesn't do you very good or very very well on your whole being useful thing. It doesn't make you very useful to me. Was that Jangles the Moon Monkey? No, that's a toy alien. I thought that was a Jangles. So I was like, "Oh, sweet." Is that another Voltec lunchbox? Yeah, it is. Oh, this one held a pencil. So useful. A fucking pencil. Is there even anything in here? There's a teapot. A toy truck. Or is this just a place to loot and get a bunch of shit from? There you are, Nick. I needed you. Actually, I still do. Can I pick up any of this? Crystal liquor decanter. Nick. I need your help with this safe. Grab anything useful. You're not able? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you useless? God damn it, Nick. I'm gonna go to the basement because I don't see anywhere else for us to go. So I'm assuming now we just head down to the basement. And I assume that's where we're gonna find the guy we're looking for. I would assume so, because we're now back at the front. So I'm going to just assume that we take the elevator 
and head on downstairs. Yeah, get on, get in the elevator with me, Nick, or teleport with me. What do we got down here? We have feral ghouls. So far, just a feral ghoul. Okay. Where'd Nick... Why is Nick not down here? That's a bit odd. Okay, now he's down here. Apparently. Nick, where the fuck are you? There's another ghoul. Come at me, bitch. One shot ya. There's no more. vault will be there. When the world collapses and everything goes to shit. vault will be there. Desk fan. Ooh, shot glass. Did I just pick up a fucking folder? Uh, miscellaneous. Did I just really pick up a folder? Folder drop. There's even things that I won't pick up. Folders are one of them. What just fell? A mini nuke. There was a fucking mini nuke in that toilet. Plasma cartridge shotgun shell. This guy's got a lot of shit. If this is really Walter Scott's terminal. Save real quick. And let's give this terminal a shot. Okay, I unlocked the thing. So... That now means that this door is unlocked. Now let's see where this takes us. Okay, so it doesn't appear that it led us really anywhere. It just led us over here. So that was kind of a pointless endeavor. But we got through it. We got through vault -Tec. The vault headquarters is officially cleared. Right? Does it say clear? Yeah, cleared vault -Tec. Regional headquarters cleared. So I guess I'm going to run back to Sanctuary, drop off shit, and just figure out what we're going to do from there. Okay, so I fixed up the power armor, done everything I can do over here, so I think I'm going to try and figure out if I can talk to Sturgis. Guns, computers, okay. Well, can I... I just want to trade a few things. No. Yeah, it's all coming together well. What do you, What do we want to do? Um, I guess find the railroad, because we need to have the Corsair chip analyzed. So I guess what we're going to do is find the railroad. I was told to follow the Freedom Trail. So we're going to do that. No, Sturgis, you can't take barely any of the credit. Most of the credit belongs to me. Actually, 98% of the credit belongs to me. The rest is... Not you. Either way, the person who should be getting all the credit is not you. Okay, now we're over here, and there are feral ghouls everywhere. Yay. What was that? Bitch. Bitch. Okay, this is actually going pretty well for me. I'm actually doing pretty damn well. Well, y'all are going to come down, so I'm going to just switch back to this. Yeah, no shit, someone's coming, dude. Bring it on, motherfucker! Bring it on, bitch! No! Fuck! You! Also, I should probably use some purified water. Because I'm running a little bit low- Where am I? I was running into a wall. the hell is that? 
I don't think I want to know. I'm just going to keep running this way. You know, once I get around everything. I don't know why I'm randomly gaining experience. I'm not doing shit. Oh, look, there's a ghoul. Oh, look, there's more ghouls. Ghoul, come at me, bitch. I don't even think you hit me. You're just dead. I'll just stim pack it. Oh, there's a car that exploded. For some reason. Oh, there was a super mutant. That's why. I need to start over here, apparently. At the Cambridge Police Station. This is really where I need to start. I have to start by talking to Dance. Excuse me, Paladin Dance. Have you reconsidered my request for support, civilian? It's a good plan. If we can get back. I can assure you that I wouldn't undertake this <laughs> mission unless I had confidence in your abilities. So do I have to take Reese inside and find his wound? So do I have to? Reese, once you're on your feet. I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. I'm on it. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your worth. Yep, I have to, to do this. And resupply yourself. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's okay. Out, All right, big guy. Let's go. I guess... I guess this is what has to happen. Because I didn't click on that quest. I clicked on the molecular level. So I guess find the railroad leads us here. And I'm going to level up. So, I am going to level up Bloody Mess, just because it does 5% extra damage, which means enemies would explode, which is my favorite part, just in case you were wondering. Cambridge Police Station, speak to Paladin Dance. Okay, so I believe we're going to just figure out how to do this, and then we'll ha end up going to... I don't know. So, we get to loot the shit out of this place. Fusion Cell. Fusion Core. Hell yeah, I'll take a fusion core, and a distress pulser, and a pen, an automatic, ooh, stim packs, 44 rounds, which I will probably never use, but you know, whatever. Gladius personal terminal. Anything else? Scribe Halen's personal log. I guess we'll listen to that. Field Scribe Halen, personal log entry, 324A. I'm starting to wonder if joining the Brotherhood of Steel was a good choice. I originally signed up seeking protection and comradeship, but I'm worried that I've traded away a bit of my humanity in the process. The Brotherhood's message of hope for the future is idealistic and noble, but their methods leave a lot to be desired. The leadership seems especially misguided. Instead of diplomacy, they wield violent confrontation to exert control. Despite all that, I've been successfully avoiding the fighting by following the career path of a field scribe. I suppose only time will tell how long I can stand the sight of spilled blood over my own moral fiber. Well, yeah, I guess that's true, but not much that I really feel like you can do about it now. Also, yeah, I'm going to just loot this entire place for everything it's got. And then I'll talk to Paladin Dance. I've done the side quests with the Brotherhood before, but I didn't know that that was necessary to go on. I did not know that. So this is actually news to me. I was just... My first time, the original side I was siding with, Wiz... Or, Wiz... Was the Brotherhood of Steel. So, I didn't really have any sort of idea of what I was going to be doing whenever I started up this series. I knew I was going to side with the Minutemen, and I know that I still am, but I guess that you just have to do some stuff for the Brotherhood beforehand, and I guess that'll also explain why the Brotherhood will hate me, because they pretty much hate everybody else who doesn't follow their rules, but I guess that's going to be how they're going to hate me, 
is just I'm gonna kind of go against them and they're not gonna like that which I'm okay with I, I'm fine shooting people down for power armor and destroying vertebrates. I'm perfectly okay with that the vertebrate I want to destroy your vertebrate there is a prison in here I feel like that's a bit a bit harsh a bit rough is there any stim packs in there yes there is yes there are this would be the correct way to say that not yes there is I just want the duct tape okay dance I think I'm ready I think I've looted this place clean I, I think we're good I think I've looted this place. Ooh, nope, there's still more. I think I've looted this place in and out. Dance, where'd you go? I miss you so. I'm gonna see if there's anything back here. Pre-war money. Cap stash. Handcuffs. Kinky. Okay, so I guess this... Dance, let's go. Yeah. Ready. Don't worry, Paladin Drance. And if I accidentally kill you, who cares? Dance, go. Okay, I was going to say, you're going to run through the door? Okay, dance, where'd you go? Dance, just walk. I already pick everything up I did. Okay. Are you carrying a weapon? Should I be carrying a weapon? I'm gonna go to the double barreled shotgun. I'll carry a weapon. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Okay, I'm listening. Okay. Makes sense. Just keep going. Is that Arc Jet? No, that's Beantown Brewery. Okay. That's a crow. Crow scared the crap out of me because it looked like it was just glitching. Probably because it was. But still. Anybody? Is this really just going to be a straight haul with nobody there? Don't worry, Dance. Just keep going. I'm just picking up frag grenades. And molotovs. Yeah, come at me, bitch. Come at me, bitch. Oh, bloody mess. I'm carrying too much to be able to run. Nick. Hey. Trade. Something you need? No, there's sh shit that you need. Hey. If I got it. Thank you. Ah, oh, piss. Forgot to dump everything. Ah, oh, crap. Then I took everything. Now I'm super over encumbered. Okay, now Nick can't carry anything else, so this just means that I have to drop shit. And since I don't want to drop things that are actually important, let's just drop all this. I don't use mines. I'm going to use that gamma gun pretty soon. Stalker's combat shotgun. If you are not yet in combat, increase fats accuracy, but cost more HP. No, I'm good. Okay, there we go. Oh no, they killed everybody. Bottle cap rounds, carrot. Really? Really? Damn. 
the target from the moment we arrived. But despite our setbacks, I don't intend to give up and head home. Or end up missing. Hmm. Cool. Can we go a little faster, Dance? Can you run instead of walking? Because, you know what? I'm going to end off today's episode here. And I'm going to just meet y'all at ArcJet Systems in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed today's episode and the first episode that I've recorded since my surgery, please be sure to leave a like down below. If you really enjoyed, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you also enjoyed, leave a comment saying whatever the hell you want. I don't care. My name is King Derpert, a.k.a. KD, and I hope to see y'all in the next episode. Later, guys. Actually, off screen, I'm going to go sell shit. Later, guys.